I've been sitting on information about a new display technology for weeks now that nearly put me back in the bouncy room again because it was driving me crazy that I couldn't share it with you until now. Now I'm sure you've heard a lot about RGB mini LED this year, and don't get me wrong, it's certainly great to see companies push color performance, but TCL has a secret technology that I think will really upset the market, and I was not expecting to see it at all until I was giving myself the thousand yard stare in the reflection of its glossy coating. Now, before we jump into this, I wanna let you know that TCL did sponsor this video and my coverage of CES 2026, which helps a ton with making travel possible. But all my thoughts and opinions are my own. And of course, I'll have affiliate links to every display that's available in the description below as soon as it becomes available. Now, with that out of the way, I present to you TCL's brand new SQD mini LED technology, which will debut this year in the flagship X11L. Now, this TV is without question my most anticipated mini LED based TV of 2026. And I say that because I've already seen almost every new TV so far this year. And in fact, I was even flown out to California to see it weeks before it was showcased here at CES. And believe me, keeping what I saw a secret was painful. Now, at that event, originally, I'll be honest, I was not expecting much. Maybe a little bit of a refresh, something like that. But when TCL showed the X11L side by side to what I called the best mini LED TV of 2025, the Sony Bravia 9, as well as one of the best OLEDs, it hit me right in the forehead that this was not like anything that I was expecting. I say that because for the first time ever, I can finally say that I think at least when viewed straight on, the X11L is the first mini LED based TV that at least with the demo material that they showed, which yes, of course, I'll test even further when I get my hands on one for review to see how it holds up in even more challenging situations. But I digress, based on the demo material they showed, blooming control was so good that I could not, even in a nearly totally dark room, see blooming that distracted or annoyed me in almost all the scenes they show. The only time I was able to obviously see any was when viewing a star field, the most challenging thing a mini LED could ever take on. But even then, it was very well controlled and the stars sparkled in a way I had only ever seen before on OLED TVs. Now I did check to make sure all the TVs they were showing we're using the same settings and looked around to see if there's any funny business going on. But as expected, it was just a fair head-to-head -head battle where TCL performed extremely, extremely well. To put this into perspective, compared to older mini LED, it's like a fog has been removed from the screen. And this kind of makes sense since the 85 inch model we looked at well, it had, I believe, over 17,000 local dimming zones. That's a lot more than probably any mini LED you've ever seen before, unless you've been to a CES where they show insane technology. And it comes with an upgraded 26-bit backlight controller, leading to the most precise and razor-sharp local dimming I've still yet to see to this day. And here's where it gets even wilder, because that was the 85-inch model. The 98-inch model? That thing actually packs 20,000 zones and up to 10,000 nits of brightness along with 100% BT 2020 coverage, apparently. Now, if it's hitting all three of those, by the way, that means it should be capable of displaying even up to Dolby Vision 10,000 nit HDR content, of which I don't even know if there's any that exists yet. <laughs> So yeah, this is a quite a powerful TV. And you know, the 100% BT 2020 coverage, that's something that I thought only RGB mini LED would be able to achieve. Now, in order to achieve that insane 100% coverage, you can't use traditional mini LED, which is why I was really shocked when they told me about it because typical mini LED cannot produce the necessary colors to make that possible. So to do it, TCL has implemented what they're calling Super Quantum Dot Film, a new panel that can produce so much more color 
that it should, or at least when I saw it, it came relatively close to RGB mini LED in a sense where most of the time they looked pretty much identical and only in select scenarios did RGB mini LED come ahead. However, since SQD mini LED still relies upon a color filter, in theory, you shouldn't get the same issues of color crosstalk or inconsistent color performance that other 2026 TVs may end up having problems with that don't use SQD mini LED. Of course, I'll have to test to see just how true that ends up being with all the content I throw at it. Now, as for the other specs for the X11L, because I realize we haven't talked about them yet, it's gonna be a 4K 144 Hertz WHVA 2.0 Ultra panel with their new TSR AI processor. It'll support FreeSync Premium Pro and Dolby Vision IQ HDR10 and HDR10 Plus formats. And it will be available in 75, 85, and 98 inch sizes. And I'll be honest, fellas, if this thing reviews well, I might have to start shaking it on the corner as I might buy one for myself in my own living room because the pairing of up to 20,000 zones with their new Super QLED using an upgraded quantum dot film and finally their most advanced WHVA panel means a serious upgrade for contrast, color, and viewing angles. It's pretty much everything that I've been asking for in a mini LED type of TV. And this is the direction I was hoping we'd go for with mini LED. And if it continues to go this way, I think mini LED is not only gonna stick around, but do very well in the years going forward. Now that said, if you still feel like RGB mini LED is the better choice in 2026, TCL also announced the RM9L, which includes Again, 100% BT 2020 coverage, this time over 16,000 zones with 16,848 to be exact. It will come with a WHVA 2.0 panel capable of up to 9,000 nits, and it will still be 4K 144 Hertz with an AIPQ Pro processor in the same HDR formats will be supported. Now this one is gonna come in 85, 98 and up to 115 inch sizes. So this one you might wanna consider if you're in the market for a very, large TV, and of course, the insane color performance that RGB Mini LED brings to the table. Now, on top of that, TCL also had a ton of other tech on display, including their next paper mobile devices, which they were very excited about. Now, look, it's not a TV or a monitor, but the next paper 70 Pro I saw was genuinely interesting. I say that because apparently it produces light closer to what we see in the real world for less eye fatigue, but more importantly, when you swap it to the e-ink mode, it can reduce brightness all the way down to one nit and last a ridiculous seven days. So you can do God knows what at 2 a.m. without waking up your significant other. Of course, they also had a plethora of other devices such as home appliances and smart AI based fridges, washers, and more at their CES 2026 booth. But for me, the star of the show was definitely the TCL X11L, which as long as there's no software issues, might just end up being the best mini LED display of 2026. But Stay tuned for my review, which should be dropping hopefully pretty soon, as I was told they'll be getting ready to ship me a sample pretty soon, and I can't wait. And yeah, you're not gonna wanna miss this one.